Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be heading to the gym for a pool session and I'm in a different car today. If you've watched my channel at all, you'll know a series I have called Gas and Gains where I take different cars to the gym, see what they drive like, give you a little review. And today I've got a uh, rather different car. My last video was an Alpine A110 and if you have watched my last video, you'll know that that's crashed now. <laughs> but a slightly different car today, slightly different price point as well is the Panda, the Fiat Panda 100 horsepower. From looking at this car, you would think it was a normal Fiat Panda, the ones that you see little old ladies drive and you kind of see them potter along very close to the steering wheel. But there are a few little things on the body kit and this little guy that shows it's a little bit different. I also find this number plate really funny because if it was a year younger, it would say knob. There are a few things about the car just looking at it that I quite like, like <laughs> this silly little red stripe to make it look more sporty. You open it up, panda. In the cup holders, look at that. Like, it, it, it's funny. Like, there's so much character there, isn't there? But just by looking at it, it is a Fiat Panda. But we're gonna give it a little spin see how it drives and for a car that I'm driving to and from the gym I don't want anything too crazy but I want it to still be fun so let's see how this drives. These seats aren't the original seats he had them changed and I really really like them they're like they kind of hold you a bit more which is really nice because this car does have a bit of bite so you want to be held into place. This car weirdly reminds me of my first car oh no my first car was a Dehitsu Copen this car, uh, it's like my second car, which was a Peugeot 107. Reason being, you're sat quite high, you feel like you're in a bus, the gear stick is in the center and quite high up, so everything, <laughs> it just feels like a bus. Wow, 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 wow. Steering wheel is fat as fuck, like, my hands are tiny, I know, but getting a grip of this is quite difficult. Speed bump. I am going to put it into sport mode. <laughs> the buttons are so plasticky. But at the end of the day, these cars are cheap. So you can't complain. Oh, this. <laughs> this is like a little go-kart. Woo! Wow. You can definitely drive spiritedly in this. I don't know if the camera and the, or the mic is picking up <laughs> it's quite loud you feel like a little boy racer i'm not pushing it too much oh my god massive van <laughs> i'm glad i wasn't pushing it too much i'm not pushing it too much but even still it's a little bit loud it's got uh, it's just fun it's really really quite fun it's actually got some decent speed to it I mean, 100 horsepower on this, probably all you need for these country roads. I can imagine being on a motorway being a bitch, but just to the gym, I'm not, I'm not needing much more. I'm off for a pool session today. Woo! Woo! And I'm loving pull at the moment. My back is getting a lot stronger and I have also switched up my pool day a little bit. So that'll be interesting to show you guys. Let me know your thoughts on that. But let me know what your thoughts on this car. What are you thinking? For me, I'm very much enjoying it. This is fun. This makes me laugh and that is the most important thing with cars for me. It's gotta make you laugh. I feel like I'm going faster than I am. I'm doing 30 right now and I feel like I'm doing something illegal, which is great because the amount of cars I've driven that are like well over a hundred grand and you cannot push it at all. You cannot push it to the max because you'll go to highly illegal speeds I very much enjoyed my drive. I would highly recommend. Let's get a pool session in.